As, as we get ready to go back in studio, we're about, about we're about 10 seconds away from going back in studio. 10 seconds from going back in studio to see what's going on on the next segment of here on the Few Show. Thank you for watching. Here we go, Captain Bogey. Yes, 24/7. Lou, how's it going, man? Time is running so quickly today, man. Are, are you changing the clock on us and like pushing it forward every 10 minutes? Noticing that you have a uh, decoration, new decorations on the desk now. Yes. Yeah, these are Mama Juanas. This is going to get J-Few prepped for tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> prep for what? Uh, to have fun. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, so many questions, man. None Let's keep business. it PG, gentlemen. Let's keep it PG. Please. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the last segment here of episode 13. This is season two of The Few. Few. Show! show HD show all right hey so many cameras over here yeah all right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and with some future events and we're gonna have to do this one really quick so CCW will have a free event March 10th in Coral Springs Brain Busters Pro Wrestling will have base brawl March 18th in Miami we have fighting about Yulushin wrestling they have I Love Wrestling from March 30th to April 1st in Orlando during WrestleMania weekend. PPW is having Lucha Mania April 8th in Fort Lauderdale at the Platinum Pro Arena. ICW will have Lucha Fest April 22nd, Miami, Florida. And Brain Busters Pro Wrestling will have Brain Buster Pro Wrestling versus Full Throttle Wrestling, April 29th in Hollywood. And Ronin 14 will be happening April 29th in Pembroke Pines. And of course, Fastlane, you guys know WWE, will be having their event March 5th. This is coming straight out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, quick honorable mentions. As you guys know, George the Animal Steel passed away February 16th. Uh, he was a wrestler, school teacher, author, actor, debuted in 1967 and retired 1988. Also, Ivan Koloff, a.k.a. the Russian Bear. He trained under Dan Koloff, debuted in 1961 and retired in 1994. He passed away February 18th. We also have Nicole Bass in the Attitude Era, American bodybuilder, actress, professional wrestler. She trained at ECW House of Hardcore. Passed away February 17th. And last but not least, honorary mention to Angel Rose, who was on NXT. Yes, February 22nd. Angel Rose, she faced the longest reigning singles champion in NXT history, Asuka. Asuka? Asuka? Yeah. Asuka. The match is said to be airing on March 15th. Angel Road is the current ICW champion. So, then a huge congrats, congratulations from the few to Angel Rose. Angel All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to the last segment of this few show for today. And this one is called J Fuse Corner. Yeah, so it's featuring host J Few. He is a predominant member of the few. Hi, guys. Sharing an array of topics from perspective of his corner. Host J Few enjoys WWE, Miami area wrestling, big supporter. He is the stage manager behind the few show. He has a huge collection, wrestling videos, played wrestling video games from 80s, 90s. He's very well tuned. So get ready to enjoy wrestling with Jay Few from the perspective of his corner. How you doing, brother? Hey, how you doing, Captain Bogey? Hey, I, I hope you like that introduction. I try to build you up as best as I can. Uh, it, was, it was all right. I, I probably left you a few know. things out. I apologize. So talk to us. Retro video games from wrestling, 80s, 90s. You played them all. Yeah, I've played them all. Um, there's plenty of video games. Um, from wrestling that have been really popular and um, a lot of these games that came out um, during the 80s were phenomenal and if you play games like now like 2k17 oh, oh, I mean it looks it looks insane but like, they all like. started somewhere 
Yeah. So so tell us, you've seen uh, the the differences from 80s, 90s to 2000s. Uh, what, what, how did it start off in the 80s? Let's talk about that. Well, the you know, gameplay. as you know, I'm as you know, I'm talking about this. This is like back in the 80s when I used to play. So I'm a pretty old guy. But um, yeah, about 20, 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, back in the 80s, they, they had a, a stellar amount of wrestling games that came out. Um, there was a, a crash of the Atari um, video game system back in the 80s, oh. and the video game industry was going to die out. Uh, and then came out the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes. And it was Nintendo, I remember it that. was the system that that just brought. If it, if it wasn't for Nintendo, there wouldn't be like a, a, a the, what we have now with video games. Sure. So um, Nintendo brought out some very very good and classic titles, and a lot of them were very good wrestling games. Okay. Uh, could you mention a few of them and kind of give us your input on how good they were, what uh, what you liked about each one, and what attracted you to keep on playing them? Well, today I wanted to mention, I, was, I wanted to talk about six specific games. Okay. There's plenty more, but um, these were games that were very good um, for their time, and, um, and a lot of things happened during those games that that they don't even have now in these newer games. Wow! Yeah. Really? Yeah, a lot of things back then that that, and I'm going to talk about that That's right strange. now. Strange. Yeah. Okay. So give it to us, man. I want to learn. Okay. So the first game I want to talk about, um, it's it's a very uh, vintage game. It's, it's tag team wrestling. Okay. This game came out in 1983. Um, it was uh, it was brought out by um, it was brought out by uh, uh, Activision. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I lost my mind on that hey, it's one. It's alright. Um, and and how was the gameplay in that one? The game was uh, it, it was a tag team game. Oh, okay. so you played as two f baby faces, and your opponents, of course, were heels. And these guys wore masks. Your opponents, uh, they wore black masks, and you had to defeat them. I'm to sorry, go to the did next you say stage. the black mask? Yeah, Please these, don't uh, mention those words here well, in this. I'm in this sorry, studio. but this is true. This is uh, these guys. Okay. I just uh, have bad uh, bad experience. So with it was a, it was a, it was a pretty cool game. The game was only tag team. There was no one on one. Oh wow. Okay, and um, they brought out the game for Nintendo in 1986. Okay. So you know it was an okay game, but you know it was one of those games that you know you definitely want to check out. Okay. And the next one. The next one was the one and only pro wrestling. This is one of my favorite games. Um, this game came out in 1987 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Stellar game. It only had six different playable characters, but what six? was really it? yes, it it was only one on one. There was no tag team. Okay. But the thing that was really cool about it was that they had um, it had an in ring referee. Now, think about this. This is back in 1987, 30 years ago. Yeah. Okay, they had in the game, an 8-bit game, they had an in-game referee during the whole match. They also had outside. You can fight on the outside. You had 20 seconds to make it back into the ring. It also had something you don't see nowadays in any wrestling game. Okay. It had a cameraman on the outside really? filming the yeah, filming the whole thing. Did, it, did he interact in any way, like uh, cheating or anything, or who was just filming? It, it, it was. He didn't. He, he. He. You couldn't touch the guy, but he was there. Okay. It was really cool, and if you were, if you were really good enough, you know, you you could have made it to the boss, which is the great Puma. He was nice. one. Yeah, very very good game. Okay. And the next one. Okay, the next one is WrestleMania. WrestleMania came out in 1989. It featured Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, Bam Bam Bigelow, wow, some names that the I know. Million Dollar Man, and the Honky Tonk Man. Uh, okay. I know you're a big Honky Tonk Man fan, aren't you? No, 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 I'm fine. And I'm curious to know, is this the first uh, WWF at that time video game that actually came out? Because the other ones sounded mm. they just had generic wrestlers. It, it was the first Nintendo WWE game okay. that, that came out. There was one before that that um, I, can't, I can't think of the name. It wasn't even uh, a very good game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Lou's giving us the the rap uh, signal, so you want to hit another one? Sure. Uh, WrestleMania Challenge, which came out in 1990, it featured Survivor Series type elimination matches. 
featured the Ultimate Warrior, nice. Andre the Giant, the Big Boss Man, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Brutus the Barber, Beefcake, wow. and you can. It was one of the only games that you can play as yourself. You could create your own character. This was back in 1990. Really cool. That, that is impressive. Really impressive. Another game that I want to mention is Tecmo Wrestling. Okay. It was the first game to feature a play-by-play -play announce team. What? During the game while you played it, yeah. So you could hear them quote Re the match. Really awesome, really awesome. And then World wow. Championship Wrestling, which is one of my favorite games. It had um, the roster of the NWA at that time. So it was really cool. It had Ric Flair. It had Dr. Death Steve Williams. Mm -hmm. had Animal and Hawk of, of the Road Warriors. Lex Luger. Um, plenty of guys. You can even select your own moves. You can even have your signature move done in the middle of the ring. Really cool game. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we got the rap signal. That 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 was a nice history there. Yeah. We you got to do this again, man. You you got to share. Yeah. All right, guys. We're about to end the few show. Gonna give a few little shout outs to Soy Fabulous, Geo Master J, Few Twenty Four Seven, Lou Rhino, Papa Few, Will Mascaras, The Nightmare, Bree Bree, Rafiu, AKA Superstar Rafael, Rick Hart, Big Allen, Steffi, who are ambassadors in. In Orlando, representing us there. Jazzy, Silos in the house, Hollywood. And we're going to go with MFG TV with E Man, Boss Man. And special shout out to my brethren, Albert. You suck. All right. Jeremy, a professional wrestling discussion. CM Punk, Renee Alfonso, Bruce Owen, Ref for Refs, Rick Reyes. And I'm going to go ahead and mention something special that he did. He wrote a comment on my page. And uh, in quotes, if you are a fan of wrestling, I would like to encourage you to follow Bogey, one of the very few shows, pun intended, that I will publicly endorse. Close quote. Listen, uh, all my crew, myself, we are humbled, we're ecstatic to have such a special endorsement from you, Rick Reyes. Really appreciate it and appreciate you and what you do. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of episode 13 here in season two. You guys make sure to tune back. We will let you know in the Fuse show page when is our next episode. All the Fuse! Captain Bogey says, Nuff said. <laughs>